This is the beginning. The beginning of a three-part series showing how to build and animate a mechanical arm. Enjoy part one. For this method, it will be important to have your character already rigged. Click this link to learn how. To begin, we will be doing the base shape of the arm that you see on this side of the arm. That includes the forearm, the rough shape of the hand, and the shoulder connection. So for this tutorial, we'll be doing the left arm on this side. So first, head into your basic viewport shader. Now hit tab. To start, we first need to start separating all of these parts that we have previously mentioned, such as the forearm. So choose which parts of the forearm you'd like to keep for your character model. Then, hold Alt, make sure that your select mode is set to select faces, and then, while holding Alt, click, and it will select all of the faces in a loop. To select multiple loop faces, hold Shift and Alt at the same time, and simply, while holding them, click up your character mesh. I think around there would look nice for this character model. Now I'm going to delete these faces. So hit delete and then select faces. Now we need to separate the area that connects the forearm to the hand. Doing this you'll be using the exact same method that we have previously used. So simply select all of the face loops by holding shift and alt and go up and then hit delete and select faces. Now we are going to separate this form as a completely different object so it will be easier to work with as we choose different materials. So to do this, by using the exact same method, hold Shift, Alt, and then go up and select all the faces. Or if you'd like another way of doing it, up here in the right hand corner, select uh, X-ray mode. And then simply drag and click while holding Shift and you can select all the faces. Once you've selected all the faces of the forearm, hit P on your keyboard and then selection. Now this is a separate object from the rest of our mesh. For now, go over to your materials while your forearm is selected and we are going to minus those materials so we can start fresh. Now toggle off x-ray mode and we are going to try and make this form look more robotic. So hit tab and then one easy and simple method I have found in making things look more metallic is just adding sharp crevices into different places of the forearm and possibly even putting holes so you can see through. So we're going to go over to the forearm we've been working on. Hold alt and then select whichever line of faces you'd like to work with. Then I'm going to drag this up. For this character mesh, I would like both arms to look slightly different. However, if you'd like them to look the same, you can head over to your modifiers and simply select mirror modifier. In part two of this series, we will be going over how to attach different objects to your character's mesh. As you can see, when it is shaded smooth, the lines are not obvious. So now we're going to go through and we're going to add edge loops. So hold control, select R, and then simply slide so that it is more clear where the defined edges of these shapes are. Then when you tab back out, you will see you have a fairly defined robot arm. Continue this process as you wish now I'm going to add several holes into the arm to make it look as though it is an empty shell. This will help to sell the android slash robot effect of the arm. So simply select a couple faces in the limb and then hit delete. And although at this point it looks really blocky, simply select your arm, head over to your modifiers, and make sure you select your subdivision surface modifier. This will help to round out several of the corners of your mesh. If it still looks too blocky, rather than messing more with your subdivision surface modifier, which will bog down your computer, let's select these edges. So select an edge, 
and then select another edge while holding shift and then hit F. Now that we have done working on the forearm and have the desired look we want, let's go on and work on the hand. This process will be very similar to the forearm. Any of the joints of the hand we are going to delete those faces so that we can see as we look over at this robot arm that there will be new mechanisms we are going to add that will make it look more like a mechanical arm rather than a normal human limb. So select your mesh, hit tab. Now we are going to use the same method of separating the hand from the rest of the character mesh. Hit x-ray mode and then simply toggle over your entire hand, hit P on your keyboard and then selection. Now hit tab. Now we no longer need x-ray mode, so select x-ray mode again. Now hit tab on your hand, and any of the joints where the knuckles or bending may occur, delete those faces, or as desired. Now that we have separated the joints of the fingers, we are going to use a slightly different method for where the fingers actually meet the knuckles on the hand. Most character messages you should see a rough face outline where your knuckles are and where they meet the fingers. So where these faces are, we are simply going to select a face and then hold control and while holding control, slowly go around your character's knuckle. Now you will also see this joint down here. We're going to select these faces as well and we're going to end up deleting those also. Then hit delete. We're going to repeat this process for every single knuckle. Once you've finished doing this process for each of the knuckles on the hand, let's move on to the thumb joint. On the thumb, we are going to delete all the faces to show a ball joint where the mechanical joint for the knuckle will be. All that's left for your hand model now is to add these different ridges as you've done already with your forearm. Add these in any of the spots or locations you wish on your hand. Just make sure that it would roughly fit the style and pattern of your forearm. To help smooth out some of the rougher areas of your hand, also make sure you add another subdivision surface modifier. Also, just as we did with the forearm, select the hand, go to materials, and we're going to delete both the materials so it no longer matches the skin tone of the character. Now for the final joint, the connection for the arm. On your character mesh, one thing that is important to do, the area where we first deleted the faces for the arm, make sure you select all of the edges by holding Alt, make sure you're in edge select mode, and then select the edges, and then hit F. Now we're going to select all of the faces on the very edge of that limb. Without deleting them, hit Shift D, and then hit P. Now we are going to make it longer by selecting all of these faces on this object that we have just created. Hit E and then X. This will make it so we can scale them outward. Do this as you see fit. Now I am also going to add in my modifiers tab a solidify modifier. And I'm going to scale this up. To make it thicker. I'm also going to minus the textures of this limb. Now using the exact same methods we have previously done for the hand and the forearm, we are going to make this look slightly more metallic -y. However, for this object, I do not recommend doing cutouts that will make it so you can see through, because this is the actual joint that connects the character to the mechanical arm. Let's also add a subdivision surface modifier. This concludes part one of this tutorial series. In part two, we'll be going over how to add 
the actual mechanical gears and joints and how to connect them to your character mesh so that they will move properly with your character. Thank you guys for watching, please consider subscribing.